is Both Sides Now by Joni Mitchell. My name is Lydia Bridsend and I work for East Lothian Council and today I'm going to tell you a bit about the piano. So first of all a quick tour of the piano. At the bottom here are the pedals and they help you create a more sustained sound or a quieter sound. I'll show you a bit more of that later. And here we have the keys and you've got a lot of keys from here that's the highest note to here that's the lowest note. count and see how many notes we've got you ready here we go In case you didn't keep up there, there are 88 keys, 88 notes on the piano. Keep that number in mind because I'm going to come back to that later. Inside the piano, in this side of this piano, um, there's the, the mechanism for making the sound. This is an acoustic piano. A lot of pianos these days are electric pianos, so they might look the same on the outside, but all the sound is created electronically. But as I said, this is an acoustic piano. So inside we've got strings, which are hit by hammers and then the sound is stopped again by dampers and that mechanism creates a massive flexibility of sound so for example I can play really loudly like this or I can play really quietly like this So play short notes, fast notes, and I can also make a sustained sound. So that is when you use the, can use the pedal sound below. So I can make the sounds of the notes blending to each other. Like that. hands. <laughs> and if I release my foot off the pedal sound stops. Another great thing about playing the piano is that you can play a tune and accompaniment at the same time. There aren't many instruments around that you can do that. So in this piece here called The Wild Horseman, the tune starts in the right hand, like this. left hand has the accompaniment or the backing. So when we put it together, it sounds like this. Okay. Then later on in the piece, it swaps. So the left hand has the tune like this. has the backing of the chords, the complement. Like this. Okay, so put together, it will start with the tune in the right hand, the tune will go into the left hand, and then the tune will go back to the right hand. So I'm going to play the whole piece for you, and I'm going to put the camera in the piano so you can actually see what's going on inside the piano with the hammers hitting the strings. So whilst it's great that you can play all the parts on the piano without needing anybody else, sometimes 
it is lovely to play with your friends as well. The piano is a fantastic instrument to do that. So if you've got friends that play the cello or the saxophone or the trumpet, you can play along on the piano with them. Most of my playing these, these days is with other people. I don't do much playing on my own, but I, I do love playing with other people. You can also play duets and trios for piano. So this next piece coming up is a piece for six hands on the piano. So you'd have one player playing at the bottom, one player playing in the middle, and one player playing at the top, and they play the piece at, all, at the same time, but they've all got different parts. It's a bit of a squash if you do this, but it's quite good fun. So take a listen to this piece, it's called Country Waltz. So, if you're thinking about learning a musical instrument, this is what you need to know. The first thing is, you don't need to know anything about music at all. You do not need to have people at home who have played musical instruments, and you do not need to be able to read music before you start. We will teach you all this and help you to learn your instrument and to read the music. The second thing is, you will not need to have an instrument at home already. You do not need to go out and buy an instrument. If you learn with East Lothian Council, we will lend you an instrument to get you started to see if you like playing that instrument. What we need from you is for you to come along to your lessons every week, willing to learn, and then after your lessons, we need you to do a little bit of practice most days to go over what we've done in the lessons so that when you come along to your next lesson next week, you can already play what we've covered the previous week and then we can move on. We call it practice, um, but the good news is you don't actually need to do very much practice to make huge strides. I suggest to people that you need to do five to 10 minutes every day or most days. And by doing that, you'll make huge improvements. I hope you've enjoyed watching this video today. Um, I'm going to finish off with music, um, a jazz piece called The Hallmower. Thank you for listening.